Hey YouTube, Bluefist here again. It's a lovely sunny day, it's almost uh, spring here in New Zealand. It's another big porch again with another pot tobacco review. And uh, I'm going to be smoking today uh, Peter Stockerby's Proper English 52, which um, you buy in bulk. Um, I've, I've settled some of this down. It's actually not the first time I've smoked it. I've probably had it settling for about a year, year and a half now. Um, smoked, it, smoked it in my newly acquired Boswell. It's a very nice pipe. It's got some lovely uh, rustication on it here. Quite an interesting uh, the stem. I actually quite like it. It catches the light. So I'll flare this up and we'll get underway. Um, some groovy sounds. This is uh, Maggot Brain by Funkadelic. Great, great track. Highly underrated guitar player in my opinion. But anyway, back to the tobacco. Um, it's a rib ribbon cut. It's uh, it's in English. It's made in Denmark, obviously by Peter Stockerby. And the tobacco is a Maria Latakia Oriental slash Turkish and Virginia. Uh, the tin note or the bag pouch note in this case. Just Latakia. <laughs> Classic smelly, smoky Latakia. Here today with a lovely strong coffee, which this goes with really, really well. Um, it's quite an open draw on this part. It's a heavy, smoky Latakia. Uh, only sparingly hints of the Virginia or Orientals for that matter. Full bodied. And as I said, lovely with a coffee, nice strong coffee, or maybe a stout, dark, dark beer. Um, I've grabbed, I think, about half a pound of this, or most of it I've got selling. Um, this, as I said, was a year, year and a half. I can't remember if that's benefited from any aging or not, I'm sure it would have, but um, it's a lovely smoke. Uh, short, sweet review today, but um, I'm going to give this one here four and a half out of five. Um, I thought I'd uh, share a little joke with you today that uh, it popped into my head just yesterday. Um, it's one I've heard, for, well, I heard it probably a good 10 years back. And it goes something like this. There are three young men, and they're in the docks in, in court, up on charges of... Uh, Possession of more smoking marijuana, and uh, all three on the dock. And the judge says, says to these three young men, he says, You've caught me on a good day, I'm feeling very dingy. I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to give you a week to go away from this court and see how many people you can convince to stop smoking marijuana. And I'll, when you come back next week, uh, going off your results, I'll pass, pass your sentence. Well, anyway, these three youngsters, uh, 
uh, looking pretty good, mate. Thank you, Honor, and leave. All three go their separate ways, and they're back in front of the judge the following week. First uh, young man t takes to the stand, and the court says to him, Well, it's been a week, and I set you a task to see how many other people you could get off uh, smoking marijuana, and how did you get on? And uh, the young man produces uh, a couple of coins out of his pocket. Uh, I haven't got some here to show you, but in New Zealand here, there's a small five cent piece, and there's a larger 50 cent piece. And he said, do well, your honour, I uh, convinced um, three people to stop smoking marijuana. And the judge goes, oh, that's uh, very commendable. Can I ask you how you did that? To which the young man replied, uh, well, Your Honour, first of all, I held up the 50 cent piece and said to them, this is your brain before you start smoking marijuana. And then I held up the 5 cent piece and said, and this is the size of your brain after you smoke marijuana. And the judge sort of says, well, that's very uh, ingenious thinking and uh, well done. And I'll, I'm just going to give you a $50 fee. Fine, and you're free to go. Anyway, seeing this... The second young man, he approached the stand. The judge says to him, how did you get on, young man? How many people did you convince to stop smoking marijuana? To which the young man, seeing this young culprit before him, also produced the, the five cent piece and the 50 cent piece coin. He said, well, your honor, like the young man before me, uh, I actually convinced uh, eight people to stop smoking marijuana, also using the coin technique. I'd hold up the 50 cent piece and say, this is the size of your brain before you smoke marijuana. And then hold up the 5 cent piece and say, this is the size of your brain after you smoke marijuana. The judge says, well, very commendable, well done young man. Also give you a $50 fine and you're free to go. The young man thinks he's you know, well chuffed. third young man takes the stand. Noting that these two before had gone through and used the same coin technique, he also thought he'd use the same thing. The judge says to him, you tell me young man, how many people did you stop from smoking marijuana in the past week? And the uh, young boy, young man said, uh, well your honour, I also used the uh, coin technique and I managed to uh, convince 188 people from smoking marijuana. The whole court just went silent. The judge looks at the young man and says, 188. He says, that's an incredible young man. He says, can I ask you how you did that? To which the young man produced the small coin first, the five cent piece, and said, well, your honor, I held the five cent piece and said, this is the size of your arsehole before you go to jail. Anyway. It was a joke that I always liked. <laughs> wow, that's a nice smoke. I wouldn't say his tongue bite, but um puff away too much, I think um, it gets a little hot, but saying that, um, I probably could maybe could have dried it out a little bit better than, than what I have. Classic nice creamy smoky letter here though, a lot to like about it. Um, not Nothing hugely more I'd say about it, complex wise. As I say, I gave that a five, four and a half, sorry, out of five. Some lovely tracks going on there in the background. This is such a lovely day. Summer's been a long time since I've come in here, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. As uh, everyone does when they sort of get a bit of winter blues and here in New Zealand it gets quite wet and cold. If not all uh, sunshine and hobbits, as a lot of people might believe. <laughs>
Anyway, YouTube, thanks for tuning in again. Um, another review in, same time next week. Look forward to seeing you then. Keep them smoky.